So today it's a Patreon anniversary and I have a special gift for my Patreon member and that is a cinema LUT. So with this powerful LUT you can change your stunning design into a cinematic poster easily. So I'll go through that in detail but before that I'd like to thank all of my Patreon members for your love and support and it's just a one year and I'm almost hitting 500 members and which I never expected. So if you love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet then please do subscribe and if you want to be my Patreon members please check on the description list below and there are tons to cover so without any further ado let's dive into the video. So here we're in Photoshop and like I said we're not going to do anything fancy. It's going to be very 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 simple and we're testing a brand new LUT and this LUT will be available on my Patreon. So Patreon subscriber it's for you. Uh, let's create an artboard first and for that press Ctrl and N. And same thing I'm going for 4x5 resolution to 300 color mode to RGB bitrate to 8 and let's keep everything as default and let's click on create and very first thing let's create a background and for that let's go over here click on solid and I'm going for a kind of darker color maybe somewhere around here yeah let's click on ok drag and drop this image right over here press ctrl T let's make it a little smaller and maybe let's keep it right around here and then let's uh, select this portion and let's go to edit let's add a generative fill uh, let's click on generate and this AI is going to generate uh, this blank space for us uh, let's make a selection right over here and uh, let's go over edit and let's click on that generative fill let's keep this uh, prompt blank and uh, let's click on generate and then the AI is going to fill up uh, that portion for us and uh, let's see what it comes up with and here we and here we go yep this is looking pretty decent so i'll just keep it like that and then let's get a background image right over here let's keep it all the way to the bottom Control t let's move it and let's make it a little bigger yep just just like so and let's go over filter and let's before that let's do some color adjustment so select this image go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and from here let's uh, drop down the highlights let's increase the shadows let's increase the clarity let's increase the textures too and let's drop down the vibrance somewhere around here let's go to the detail tab increase the noise reduction increase a color noise reduction a little bit and from the color mixture let's increase the luminance for orange and yellow a little bit too and again let's go back to detail tab and let's increase the shadow a little some more and maybe increase the clarity some more too and let's click on ok and let's do the same thing for this image go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting and let's see how it looks and yeah, this is looking pretty good I'll just click OK and let's do the same thing for this image so select this one go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting and I think this is looking pretty decent for me and let's click on OK and then uh, let's to go over here click on blending option and let's blend that image with our background solid so let's uh, holding alt let's add the shadows let's click on alt and let's blend that shadow some more and let's do the same thing for the highlights too let's click on alt and let's blend this somewhere around here for the shadows yep let's yeah for the shadows let's keep it like that and uh, for the highlights Yeah, for the highlights let's keep it like that for now and let's click on oh so let's keep it like that and then if we don't like anything we can tweak it later anytime so let's go over here and add a lookup and that's the main purpose of our video so select this one and click on load and i'm going to use windy cinema 01 so select this one and click on load so here we go and that's the beauty of this lot so this is before and this is after 
and then uh, let's uh, add some text And let's add a logo right around here. Uh, let's add a color overlay and let's go for kind of similar color. Yep, just like so. And then let's add a few text on the bottom. And let's keep it right around here. And then let's add a one more text. And let's keep it all the way to the bottom. And control T. Let's make it bigger. Just like so. Maybe some more. Here we go and let's drop down the opacity a little bit just like so and let's add a texture on very top so i will just drag and drop this, this texture on very top and let's change the blending mode to screen Control t let's make it a little smaller Let's add a rotation just like so. Alright, now let's go over. Let's add a circle and back and let's go for a kind of darker color, something like that. And let's press Ctrl and T. Let's keep it right over here. And then let's go on very top and let's go for brush and let's go for a general soft brush and let's change the color to white and let's add a kind of glow on top let's change the blending mode to soft light and here we go and that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and i'll see you in the next video till then you guys take care be safe and be creative bye bye